guys. Connor here, aka Kenan John, the coach here at Golden State. Many are getting ready for the week six, week six match with Coach Notorious Pip and the Wiltshire War Turtles. Definitely looking forward. I am bringing Sylveon Blaze, Candida Queen, Pelipper, Mega Swampert, and Electivire. And why I expect him to bring is more than likely Tapu Koko, Salamence, Dawn Fan, Mega Caesar, and from there, maybe Manchow, Amoongus, Slowking. I definitely probably think uh, Amoongus is going to happen. Uh, we'll definitely see here. I'll go ahead and make a quick cut here and get into the match. Alrighty, we are in the match. So we did bring Salamence Mega Caesar. He did not bring Don Fan. Top of Coco. Wow, he didn't bring Don Fan. That's actually really surprising. He did bring Amoongus. He brought Greninja. Okay, maybe I wonder if he runs to Trump Scar Greninja. That would be interesting. And Slow King. I bet you Slow King was to counter Trick Room Dusk Door. Very interesting. So who do I want to start here? Do I predict the top of Coco start? Um, to be honest, I kind of do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go... Yeah, I'm going to go Hera first. If he goes Greninja first, that's rather unfortunate. But I'm not entirely too worried. Um, go ahead and write this down. Now, what can he do? See, Slow King does bring that counter to Trick Room. I wonder if he does bring Trick Room. It's probably why he also bring Amoongus for. Um, Amoongus brings about that annoying spore. Um, I hate, I hate sleep. I hate uh, sleep. So very annoying. Um, <laughs> what is sleep? Uh, you got Greninja with great speed. Top of Coco as well. I definitely can deal with Top of Coco. Not, I'm not very worried about that. Um, Got here we got the scissor bullet punch with the condition ability. I think I think we have a good chance of dropping this team. Uh, I mean, granted I can't screw up here battling, but I think we have a pretty good chance. Something I predicted. Do I still think he's gonna go Salamence? Do I wanna just get off Toxic Spikes? Let's see, predict Toxic Spikes. To be honest, I'm just gonna go Ice Beam here. Not knowing if he's gonna predict the uh, Toxic Spikes or not. Yes. He's gonna U turn. Okay, he's gonna U turn into the. <coughs> Doesn't really tell me much on. Oh, it's life form. Top of Coco is life form. Okay. It's not a choice scarf, Top of Coco. He is life form. <laughs> that voice crack, though. I don't know what that was. Um, let's see what he goes into. Moongus. Okay. Fair. Fine with that. Fine with that. Uh, what do I want to do here? Do I just want to get off Toxic Spikes? Do I want to Ice Beam? I think I just want to get off Toxic Spikes. I am going to be faster. Um, let's go ahead and do the calc here. Sorry about lag. I don't have Jack's computer to do calc, so I will be doing it on my computer. She's going to cross this What the deuce? This is so annoying. Seriously. Just kick me out of the calc. What are you doing? Bruh. This is absolutely so slow. I'll make it look back in your Yes. 
Now my play is probably, I'm thinking Toxic Spikes, to be honest with you. I'm actually thinking Toxic Spikes. Leftovers. This stack is leftovers. He's not leftovers. I'm not sure what he is. Let's go ahead and go off another high speed. I'm gonna go into Grid Ninja. Make a sizzle. Okay. It's fine by me. Now, Scizor take. So he went straight up into Mega Caesar. I didn't even realize. That's okay. If I lose, I'm not worried. He's undefeated. He was not great. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Because so, so what we have to do is we actually have to Mega Evolve the very first turn. We can't just make it Mega Caesar because in custom games it already allows the Mega. So you technically could run a Mega Pokemon with an item in custom games. It's kind of funny. Um, something like you would see in a randomizer. Fine. <laughs> uh, um. Yep, lift the bullet punch. Very nice. Alright, takes about 35. How much did that bullet punch do? Uh, did about 28.4. I'm down to 37. Um, I predict the Salamence switch in here. It's a question. Uh, he had Bolt Punch, obviously. Punch. Yeah, that did about 28%. Um, oh, I did 28. Why did it only do about 28? I'm looking at a count. Alt max. Oh, I have HP investment. Let's do a little wait. HP investment. Okay. Alright, I think. Do I predict? I do have to make some predictions here. Uh, do I think he's going to predict the Earth Power once again and go into his elements? Or do I just make up the straight up play? So you want to, you know what, no, not because it's, I think he's going to switch out here. I don't think he wants to sack off. I guess he's going to play. He's definitely thinking about stuff, though. I don't think he wants to sack off. I guess this one just yet. Alright, he makes him do this play again. I forgot it has that regenerator here. Got rid of my toxic spikes, so that's kind of unfortunate. How much did uh, Giga Drain do last time? Giga Drain did about 24.9, so I can live that. Um, I just want to make the switch into place again here. I kind of don't want to lose my sash just yet. I don't really see him leaving a focus here. Is he going to switch into Mega Caesar? Yeah, that's fine. It's fine by me. And then, uh, so Mega Caesar is going to take out immediately. To be honest, I almost made the Earth Power play, and I should have. To be honest, I should have made the Earth Power play because I think Earth Power. Yes, it would have. Darn it. I should have done that. That's bad on my part. Um,. But I'm not entirely worried. So I'll go down to Bolt Punch. That's fine by me. At the crit, that didn't really matter though. Um, so down goes Hera. I will then go into Blaziken. 73, what's my wisdom? 
Okay, who do I want to go into? I want to go into Nigel. What does Pegasus work? Electro moves. Um. Oh, I went to the wrong tab, sorry about that, you probably saw that. Um... I think I'm gonna go into Nigel at the moment. I can go blaze Kenya. It kills me here, that's rather unfortunate. I'm gonna pick off Skull. Perhaps he just pulled punches, I don't know. Nigel in, it'll activate my eject button, very fine by me, because it's not Scar, I know I can outspeed it, again, fine by me, I'll just stall here, called it, called the Grass Knot, I go into, did I actually revenge kill, vacuum wave, well not revenge kill, should I hit go with vacuum wave? I think I'm going to go with back in here, here actually. What I'll then do is bring for Ninja. Hmm. See, I know I can outspeed them. Like I said, top of Coke Bag Grass Knot. I knew that from a mile away. Gonna Mega Evolve. And is there anyone that's gonna want to take like a Waterfall EQ? To be honest, my safest play is to just Waterfall here. It's fine. I didn't want to risk the Salamence pre switch in. So that's fine by me. Got leftovers, lefties. Um, so let's see slow king. Let's see slow king here. Uh, make a swamper. Not gonna do completely enough here. Um, just go ahead and switch into Samurai. I'll just go with the EQ. This one half, it's fine by me. Ooh, Grass Knot. Slow King learns Grass Knot. Interesting. I almost substituted actually. Let's see, let's see how much the EQ did there. 45, 44, 45. Alright. Now, do I predict the Salamence switch in? Do I rank these? Do I predict the Salamence switch in? So he doesn't. If he does, that's a close one. Do I rank these? Um. Thank you. I don't think the Salamence switch in is going to happen just yet. I can make the Ice Punch prediction, but I seriously don't think that's going to happen just yet. Alright, so he leaves him in. He does kill him. I'm going to be right back, guys. Alright, so we did take out Slow King with an EQ. Made the correct prediction there. Um, so, Swamp with 
B, Q kill. Okay, so we're 5-5 five, five now. Unfortunately, the rain did end the smallest amount of turns, so that's rather unfortunate. Um, I don't think I want to make a Swampert to go down just yet. I really don't. So, what do I want to do here? Um... To be honest, I think I want to go back into Nigel. I'm going to go back into Nigel here. Probably going to grass. Scald, okay. It's fine by me. Let's get powered in the rain. I wonder if uh, he's Scarf. I bet you he is Scarf. He did bring Scarf for Ninja. I wonder. Okay, Nigel goes down to Skull here. It's fine by me. Um, if he is, he'll switch out. I want to go into Electivire here. Switch. I seriously wonder though if it's Scarf. So it's 377, so it is slightly slower than Jolteon slash uh, Coco base speed. Could not remember what it base speed was. Um, 377. Wouldn't be surprised if he switches out, but. That's why I'm making the Bolt Switch play. Yes, this is Choice Ban, but it's good to just... Okay, it brings it down to 58%. Um, and then, let's see what... I'll make a Swampert from Moongus. Nice Punch is going to do... Pretty well. Uh, it's going to be whatever its max capabilities is. It's rather unfortunate. Um, let's see what Blaze can do here. Um, see. Unfortunately, though. Yeah. Um. I want to go into Mega Swampert. I think I'm going to go into Mega Swampert here. Going to Mega Swampert. Um, go with the big ol' Ice Punch. I'll probably die to Amoongus Giga Drain right here, unless I get the max damage roll, which I did not. Free sacks? No, free sacks. Okay. So go down to Giga Drain. So Mega Swampert is down now. Still not too worried though. Not worried. Um, what can Blaze do? Not bad. Two. Fire Blast, even the rain could take him out. The vacuum Wave is not going to do enough. Obviously, I can't miss the Fire Blast. Just going to KFC here. Um, probably shouldn't worry about going to Fire Blast. It's kind of annoying. I want to. 
agility just yet. Let's see. How much is vacuum wave gonna do to the Vacuum wave almost locos it here. Um, how much is fire blast doing the rain? Still does enough for it to get chip damage off and I can take it out with the vacuum. Going to Greninja, Salamence. Good brain. Okay. Brain didn't stop. Salamence here. I'm going to ability in its face. Here's the problem. Here's the problem here. Um, Scizor. I need to make sure. live one bullet punch. No, no, I can't. That's not even max attack. I can almost live one bullet punch here. Sashed. It's big sell. Problem is, Salamance. Choice scarf. If it is, I'm not outspeeding it. Oh, I can outspeed it here. Run. Yeah, I probably won't. This still the hyper voice play. I saw the Amilgus prediction happening. Yikes. goes down to percent Yeah, yeah, I got not to So best bet is to do twinkle tackle. No the damage roll. Oh the damage. I'm probably gonna lose this one. It would be good if I took out the mons that are actually down. Oh, Connor. I think it was his name. Oh. KFC picks up the kill with the vacuum wave. 
Salamence can sweep me here. Goes down to vacuum wave as well. Why did he? I don't know why he did that. That hurt differential. I don't know why he did that. Well, that's nice. I made it at least 3 0. But I seriously don't know why he did that there. He easily could have just swept his out, man. Is he afraid of Choice Scarf Electivire? I don't, I don't say I'm afraid of Choice Scarf Electivire too. I think he's afraid of Choice Scarf Electivire. Dang, the ninja's got some bolt because it definitely did one of my calcs. Definitely did more than that. So I think he's afraid of Choice Scarf Electivire. Interesting. Bet that's not what I'm running. But hey, I'll take it. Electivire. It's a thunder punch. And you can just go into Salamence here. Definitely probably thought I was uh A good game by Notorious. Hey, I win 1-0. That's very nice. Why didn't he go Salamence again? What is he doing? I literally just lost 1-0. I am okay with that. It's a lot better than that could have been. Wow, uh, I, I'm going to have to talk to Notorious about what he was going on. I think he thought my Electivire was Choice Scarf for one. But then after he realized I wasn't Choice Scarf, why did he still not go into Salamence? I don't understand that. He just lost Tapu Koko to Life Orb damage. By the way, hey, a lot better match than I thought it would. Uh, that start was doing pretty well. I was doing pretty well with the predictions. Uh, it was just a matter of I didn't have the greatest answer to uh, Mugus for the most part. Uh, that that freaking uh, damage roll was really unfortunate, but Scizor could have just revenge killed anyways, so that wasn't that big of an issue. Um, was unfortunate, but hey, good match. Kind of fun. I did enjoy that. Uh, sorry about like the two cuts there, but uh, hope you guys be ready for my week 17 builder. Definitely is going to happen, and I do have that Let's Play going with Pokemon Diamond Randomizer. Be on the lookout for that. Catch you guys later. Peace.